Tate o. Daylight come and we wanna go home. Tate o. Up, up, me o. Daylight come and we wanna go home. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the mental house. It is with, wow, great reverence that I say goodbye to our brother who made his transition at 96, Mr. Harry Belafonte, who was just a fixture in fighting at that time for the rights of black people the way we do it. He's a pioneer. He's, um, he will always be remembered. He will always be revered. He will always be appreciated for what he did for, for Malcolm's daughters. He will always be appreciated for what he did with Dr. King. He will always be appreciated for standing on the front line when, for black people when it wasn't such an easy thing to do. When a lot of people were ashamed and they were wondering about how white people were going to look at them if they speaked up for black people. Which is such, so crazy. And the gaslighting that we've had to endure is that we're not even going to talk about the physical labor. We just talk about the gaslighting itself. And, and Harry Belafonte was one that always shed light on what the real focus was. And he used not only his mouth, but he used his money. Sammy Davis Jr., Diane Carroll, Lena Horne, those people that a lot of us are quick to call um, bootlickers were s responsible for economically supporting the civil rights movement. And they should be honored for that. They should be, as far as we're concerned, we shouldn't allow anybody to pick our friends. We shouldn't allow anybody to tell us who was doing right for us. But I think when you've been enslaved for so long, sometimes the, the, the right way of thinking don't come as easy for you because you've been conditioned You've been conditioned to hold up white supremacy, even as a black person. So I'm not ashamed of you, my brother. I'm proud of you, brother. This is a situation where I know when those pearly gates swung open for you, the transition, for your transition, the creator said, well done, my good and faithful servant. Well done. You represent it. And that's all you want at the end of your days is for the almighty creator to find favor in what you've done for humanity, for all of mankind, and specifically for the downtrodden, specifically for your people who have been held in bondage. But as the Bible say, the captive will be captured. So with that, one, with that being said, I just want to say rest in power, my dear brother. And to your family, Sherry, your kids, all of them, you ought to be proud to be off the loins of Harry Belafonte. Rest easy, brother. Rest easy.